Hello my dear friends I am Jyotirvid Pawan Kumar In this video I would like to talk about the great Tibetan lama the great sage Tuesday Lop Sangrampa because I find I get comments on my certain videos made about the teachings of the great saint Lop Sang Rampa and some people they are bent upon finding faults so they do not undertake serious study of the 19 books written by the great sage Lop Sang Rampa but they start with an attitude of disproving they, they are prejudiced they somehow they learn from some wrong reports in the press or other people of similar mentality they no, they start with the assumption that Lops and Rampa was a fake was not a true Lama and he didn't have any powers spiritual powers so how can they find the truth? Now if I say that I tell you from my own experiences that the great Lama, whatever he has written is true, then you may say that I am believing blindly, I have blind faith. No, not at all. See, way back, about, way back, I think it all started in 1969 or 70, when I first came across one of his books. Now, I started my journey, spiritual journey, with faith. Now, try to understand. Faith does not mean that you are blindly believing in something. Rather, faith is a prerequisite for it is a sort of open mind. You do not, you, you do not have any uh, preconceived uh, notions. Right? You have an open mind. So faith is that ingredient which is a must if you find out, if you want to find out truth. It is not a blind belief. So you proceed, take the study seriously without any assumption, presumption that it is wrong or right. And also because it is concerning spiritual matter, not intellectual matters, you also need practice. Practice of breathing exercises, practice of meditation, introspection and all that because it is not only bookish knowledge which is going to help you you also need practice because you want to develop your awareness you want to develop your consciousness which is not possible by just reading a book that is very important people don't understand that now when I started my journey I first came across his books, started reading his books with an open mind, then I started having experiences. Now if you experience on your own that you are out of your body, you are outside your physical body, you are fully conscious and your body is lying there, then what proof you need? that your soul is a separate thing, separate, uh, it is, psyche is not physical, right? So whatever he wrote, I started experiencing. So, how can I believe that he is fake? So what, what happens with the people who are just prejudiced and they are critics? Critics never go deep in study and practice if it is spiritual matter they just scratch on the surface 
read a little bit and that also with preconceived ideas that it is wrong it, they have to prove it false and then they you know come out and they spread wrong information they misguide that is wrong so my dear friends if you are a true truth seekers if you want to develop spiritually then lop sangampa is the best source and you need to have some faith open mind and to follow whatever he has written he has written about meditation he has written about uh, astral traveling he has written about breathing exercises which are must because your mind will be disciplined will come under your control only through your breathing exercises through meditation through introspection so if you start studying his books and also do practice of whatever he has written and after spending say 6 months or a year seriously if you do not get any results well results are you know possible even within a month if you are serious and if you do not get any results then only you are authorized to say that he is not right in whatever he has said so my dear friends don't be prejudiced because if you are just finding faults you are wasting your time precious time and you are not getting the benefits which people not only myself but other people i know who followed him followed his teachings and with faith they had experiences and they have developed spiritually so my dear friends lop sangrampa was a true tibetan great sage with so many spiritual powers and whatever he has written he could do that thank you for watching